I would like to welcome all of you to the class today that we're starting the Tablet PC capstone course. Throughout the quarter, you're going to be, first of all, learning how to work with this platform. You're going to be challenged in figuring out how to solve problems such as distributing ink between multiple tablets, how to edit handwriting with a pen, how to recognize handwritten diagrams. The shared notes group is going to be like essentially like a bunch of tablets being able to link up together and communicate in real time with everyone. It's like you're sharing your notes with everyone. It's just to be able to send the ink from one tablet to the other ta tablet. So that if I write something in one tablet, the ink should appear on the other tablet as well. And you see it moves, right? As long as you don't refresh it. You see it moves, but as long as as soon as you like refresh, it shows the, the shifted one after even after you refresh. But then it shows the original one also. So you have two copies. And when I try to delete it, I say which one is the, the original copy? Or which one is the real copy? Because one of them has to be real and the other one is just fake. That's what I'm been trying to do all, fix all night. Priorities are first up, probably making sure that our users gonna, users gonna be able to have this infinite amount of space to write on. Right now, it's nothing that's easily manageable right now for the user to do that. Where's the Scribble group? Scribbles is a handwritten um, editor application with the ability to correct simple errors. Uh, are you guys using a lot of Infino on the project? Yeah, we're using their notebox for our entire program's look, basically. Mm -hmm. It's got the whole Infinote's toolbars, and then the, the note itself is the Infinote's note. Mm -hmm. We've got the stationary for the background, and make it look like a page. I think we should work on another bug. This is like a minor. I mean, you can't even notice that line. Yeah. Uh, I still want to know why it's coming out <laughs> negative now. Once you get to work, you get an assignment, and it's pretty much you and the customers who have to work it out. So um, these skills are very applicable in the real world. The Diagram Recognition Project is about recognizing data structures. The most common ones um, that computer scientists use are arrays, um, trees, and linked lists. Because your job is just to draw, just to, draw it, just to render it. Yeah. Oh, so that he can start with that. I see what you're saying. So I can't just say, oh, here an array. And here's the tree. I, I have to say somehow, I, I have to say somehow, oh, okay, here's the tree. My part is to recognize the initial, like, small parts of the diagram, like a circle or a line or a square or an arrow. I draw a line, those two tell me it's a line, or I draw a square, that one found it's a square, that one didn't quite find it, or draw an arrow, finds it's an arrow, arrow. And then this one over here, it's saying no, it's just for circles. Eventually, I'll sort of combine those three bits of information and sort of have one output. I'm pretty happy. I'm most done. Is it good? It should work. Yeah. Should All right. And that, that structure is so much cleaner than the way we had it before. Right. Like because before, we just got, before, like... it would have got too messy. Yeah. yeah I think true. the biggest thing that would constrain it so that nobody would want to use it is the way that um, arrays need to be drawn. Yeah. So you need to draw the first square, and you need to draw. Cool. So thanks for you guys are on top of everything. Yeah, we so feel we're very making, comfortable about yeah. um, the way we've got everything divided up and the approaches that we're taking. Yeah, we're it's coming together. Pretty and quickly. I'm glad to hear that you guys got the component recognition. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to welcome everybody to the demos for the CSC 498 RA capstone course. We are the shared notes group. We first came up with a scenario of how the example usage of our application would be like. We'd have a group of students about to collaborate on some ideas, maybe a study session. And they're trying to brainstorm, so each person pulls up a tablet and they load up our shared notes application. They connect to the users and then they start writing on this infinite amount of space. One of the features we have in our application is that, uh, say a user joins in the session late, they'll be caught up with everyone else's ink in real time. So you can see all of it streaming across. You guys also noticed that we're drawing with the red dots in real time, because we think that this is actually kind of cool to let someone know that you're actually in the process of writing and you're not finished writing, instead of just drawing a stroke as you go. And what is Scribbles? Um, Scribbles is a handwritten um, editor application with the ability to correct simple errors and incorporates the natural editing using the ink gestures. So suppose we have a word that's uh, misspelled. 
we can cross it out and spell it correctly. We pretty much did um, attended to our goals we set at the beginning, and uh, it was a rewarding experience. It's called Record DS, and what is Record DS? It's a data structure recognition of arrays, linked list, trees, and combinations of those. The array head cell in our um, basic implementation is uh, drawn basically as a square, a rectangle. And then the next cell is drawn starting at the upper right corner of that, coming over, back down, and back over. Some of the challenges that we ran into were every member of our group had limited experience with C-sharp, and so that was a new, um, new thing for us to learn. And then also we had never developed on the tablet PC platform before. I would like to thank everybody for the demos that we have seen today and for your contributions throughout the quarter and for the audience who has been very gracious in participating in the demos.